Welcome. I'm going to walk you through exporting your data from Body Media. So, first thing that we're going to need to do is to make a directory, and we're going to call that Body Media Export. And you could put it in your download somewhere. We're going to go into that directory, and then once we've done that, we're going to go install this. It's called Chrono Download Manager. I'll put a link to it in the notes. And the reason we want it is because it can do this kind of URL uh, patterns. And so we'll need that. So let's add it to Chrome. Allow it. OK. So now that that's installed, we'll do a couple of things. We will click on that first link. We'll set our download location. And then we will make sure that ask where to save each file is not checked. It's important, otherwise it'll be really annoying. And then we'll click start. And one other thing that we will do is go into the options, go to interface, and then go down here and turn off uh, all of these notifications. You can leave error sound because that is helpful and we'll close this. So we've got the download manager up. Now we're going to go to Body Media. And we're gonna click the Activity Manager. Great, so now we need to know when the first day you used Body Media was. So we're just gonna go back a while. Okay, so you notice now it's all gray. So the first day I used Body Media was in July of 2012. So we're going to jump to that day. And then we're going to go up to View, Developer, Console, and go to Network. And we're going to open Calories Burned, because that's probably what you care about the most. And then we'll refresh the page. Okay, now that it's loaded, we're going to filter for data API, and you'll see a whole bunch of different ones. In this case, there's two. There's burn, which is for calories burned, and then there's intensity, which is for the uh, physical activity. And um, If you wanted, uh, let's say, steps, then Steps would show up. You might have to refresh the page to get it to do that. Uh, and then same for sleep. Um, all of those will show up down here since you're filtering it for API. But let's just do calories burned since that's definitely the most interesting part. So right click on it, select copy link address. And now we're gonna go back to the download manager and we're gonna click add. So it's gonna fill that in automatically. And we're gonna scroll to the right in this field. So that's the first day. And what I want to do now is work until the end of the month and then the end of the year and then all the intervening years. And the syntax that this extension uses is square bracket and then number colon square brackets like this. So doing this will give me both the 31st and the 30th of July in 2012. So let's just add those, and it'll give you a nice little confirmation. And kaboom, what happened? What happened is Body Media logged you out. Got to go a little faster, but since we already have it ready, we click Activity Manager. And once Activity Manager loads, we can go back here, whoops, don't need that. Go back here, push, uh, select one, hold control and hit A, and yes, it's control on the Mac as well as on the PC. Click restart. Boom, they both downloaded. Great, we have two days. <laughs> now we only need the next you know, rest of the year, but that's a start. So that was still in my uh, clipboard. So now what we wanna do is change this to be the next month, August until December, 
and then have it be 0, 1. The 0, 1 is important. If you do 1, it's not going to work. You have to 0 fill, to use a computer term. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to select all, copy it, so we don't have to keep redoing this. Hit start. It's going to give you a little confirmation. So 2012-0801, so August 1st of 2012. And then it'll go to August 2nd, August 3rd and repeat until it hits 2012 12 30 December 30th which is not quite right should be 31st so we'll fix that now we'll start it again get the confirmation 31st perfect now this is actually going to hit some errors and that's because once again body media has logged you out hit activity manager And come back here. You can see Activity Manager is ready now. Select them all. Restart. Boom. Now they're all downloading and you can see them filling in over here. Now one thing you're going to notice is there is going to be an error. And it'll be on the 31st of September because that day doesn't exist. It's fine. Um, in theory, it would be nice to set it up so we don't actually do that to them, but we're trying to do a fast download, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay, so now you've downloaded all of 2012, 2012, December 31st, and in my case, the 7th, uh, sorry, the 30th of July and everything we're in between. So now we can get rid of these, so select them all, move them to the recycle bin, and then we're going to want to go, and remember, we're looking we want to go all the way to 2016. So what we're going to do is do a similar thing. This time we're going to include the year. So we're going to go from 2013 colon five, make it one through 12 and make it 31 so I don't miss any days. And so what this will do is do 2013 January 1st. In fact, I'll just show you. 2013 January 1st, second, third, all the way until 2015, December 30th, 31st. Hit go. And once again, Body Media has locked up. So, refresh it again. Activity Manager. And we will go in here and reset everything. And now it's starting. And if you look down here, you'll see here comes 2013. And it'll just keep going this way and keep loading and loading and loading. And it's definitely going to take a while. So if we scroll into the downloading, this will show you the progress a little faster. But you can see down here as it counts down. So we've got 800 left, that kind of thing. Now while we're doing this, uh, today is the 22nd, you might be doing this a few days later, we need to do one more. We did everything up to December of 2015, the 31st. So we need to also include January. So let's go do that and add it while we're going. So it can just get included. So, oops, sorry. We're going to set this to 2016, 01, and today is the 22nd, so there's no reason to go past that. So 2016, 01, 01, and all the way up to 22. Add those, get a little preview. 1, 2, 3, 21st, 22nd, looks good. And we'll include those. And it's going to actually add those to the top and download them out of order. So. There, now that just finished, so now we're continuing to download 2014 and all the interims. And if you look in your downloads directory, it will keep growing and growing and growing and you'll have quite a bit. Now, one other thing that you might want is, let's say you want, oh, let's do steps, because that's a little different. You're going to look in here and you're going to find steps right there. You're going to copy that, copy the link address, and then you're going to do the same thing 
But if you did start this right now, what you would notice is it would go into the same directory with the same file name of 2013, 11, 21. So it'd be pretty confusing. So what you want to do instead is wait. Wait until all of these are done. So let's speed this up. Okay, now that it's done, let's go up a directory. And let's rename that body media calories. And we'll make another one and we'll call it body media steps. So now we're going to open the preferences. We're going to go to download and we'll change the location to be steps. We'll select that, close it. Now we're going to go back to the activity manager, which we will grab the step URL just to be safe. The step URL is in here. So now we need to do the same thing again. So we'll start with 2012. If you remember July 30th was the first day I used it. So 30th and 31st and we'll hit start and it's going to say are you sure please confirm and great it just downloaded these and you can see these are the steps so step right there from there you're gonna to want to do the same process again you're gonna to want to do the intervening years so 2013 to 2015 January through December and the first through the 31st and you're going to hit start and it's going to keep going and once you've done that you can do it for any of the other sections you want just look at the inspector in here to figure out which uh, URLs you want to pull and that's it